favorite. So we are gonna use these kind of wrappers. Um, I bought two of those and then um, thinly sliced uh, green onions. I'm gonna use all of that as well. And then these are taro root that has already been peeled. And then it's kept in a very tight um, plastic wrap to keep it uh, fresh. And then so I'm just basically um, cutting that into little thin strips and then we're gonna um, wrap the shrimp along with this one, the green onions, and then use this um, spring roll pastry wrapper, okay? All right, here are my chopped um, green onions. I used about half of the, the bunch and then um, thinly sliced uh, taro root. And then we're gonna go ahead and prep up the lumpia wrapper, separate it. There's there's 25 in here, and then we're gonna cut it in half or diagonal um, into a triangle shape, and then it'll be 50 pieces, so I bought two, so it'll be 100 pieces of, of shrimp lumpia. So here is the shrimp that I showed you guys that was in the bag. I bought it from uh, Costco. Basically rinsed it off, and then um, Lola, um, Put some Montreal steak seasoning, just a little bit, and then salt. Mm -hmm. And then that's it, Lola? Yeah. That's it. And then we're going to start wrapping up the lumpia. Here is the um, lumpia wrapper uh, bag. So Lola just cut it into a um, half diagonal. So it looks like a, a big triangle. So what I'm going to do now is just separate the pieces so that we can start uh, wrapping it. And then... Here is just the ingredients. There's the taro, the green onion, and then the seasoned shrimp. Lola has already started wrapping up the lumpias. If you guys can see, it's nice and tight. And then only the tail is showing. So here is the process. Okay, so here we go. Lola puts one shrimp. Mm-hmm. A couple of taro pieces. And then she puts it sideways, wraps it tight, over, and then closes it up. So it's nice. She was on that one. Oh, and then egg there's an egg wash. Once more. Hold on up. Mm -hmm. so nice and tight. There we go. And then she gets an egg wash and then dips it in there. And that's just the egg whites, Lola? Yes. And then adds it to our pre made ones. That's it. Super easy. Do you guys want to see it again? Yeah. Okay. One more time. All right. Shrimp. Taro. Green onions. Roll over. Tuck under. Over. Tuck. Roll. Nice and tight. And then the triangle that's left. And dip it in um, egg whites and then that's it and then what I'm gonna do with this is that um, place it into the freezer so it freezes up just a little bit and then I'm able to put it in just Ziploc bags so we had this plate full of lumpia what we did was we placed it into the freezer for about 15 minutes and now um, it won't stick together because you see how when they're wet and at room temperature, if you have them too close to each other, they tend to stick. So now instead of uh, Tupperwares, I can easily put it into Ziploc bags. And then um, because they are already pre-frozen, they will just stay um, separated. That's our, that's Lola's trick. All right, here I am, um, frying up uh, Lola's shrimp lumpia. Um, this is the second batch. I'm going to show you guys the first batch and then I'm actually going to take a test, um, taste test of that because it's already nice and cool. I'm going to go get my, um, my sauce that I dip it with, okay? So this is all we do. It's just we fry it until it's a nice golden brown color. 
Alright friends, so I showed you guys how I fry it. I'm actually at my house now. Um, I had to come home. Lola helped me prep it up, um, cut the veggies, and then wrapped up the, the shrimp lumpia. And then I came home and then I fried it for the, the family. So I have another batch um, on the stove. But this is what it looks like. And it's nice and golden brown. And when you dip it, you dip it in the sweet chili sauce. You can buy sweet chili sauce at your grocery stores, Trader Joe's, Asian Market. Mmm. It's delicious. But with the family, it's okay to double dip. But with your party, of course, don't double dip. But look at all that chili sauce in there. And then you just toss that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, Lola's recipes are really amazing. Wholesome food um, that you guys can easily make at home. And we love it, so we wanted to share it with you guys. Thank you for visiting A Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!